Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. This week we have a request from a community member and her name is Rosemary and she writes, Hi Miss Planet, hi Rosemary. My friend is getting married and I feel absolutely honored when she asked me to take part in decorating. I love your hula hoop wedding centerpiece, but my friend wanted lavender wisteria thing, so... Can you show me how to put some of those flowers in the centerpiece? <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. I am so excited to show you our Dollar Tree $1 hula hoop hack for the centerpiece, as well as how to apply hanging lines to it. It's so simple, so easy. You can absolutely do it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with this week's episode, Dollar Tree Hula Hoop Hack Centerpiece. All right, guys, let's get to it. So our first step is to go ahead and pull the tape off the seal for this hula hoop and pull it apart and remove the stopper as well as the beads that make the noise when you hula hoop. So let's go ahead and get that done and we're ready to move on to our next step. So we want to make sure about, oh, three inches of on each side of the hula hoop are secured into the styrofoam base. So I'm going to tape off about three inches so I don't want to paint anything below the tape. And then you're just going to go outside, spray paint, take your time with the spray paint, do a little burst, do one coat, let it dry, come back and do another. In addition to that, we're going to spray paint these two four inch round wooden plaques so they can serve as a base and give more stability to our overall centerpiece. I love these hula hoops because they come with their own ready-made stopper that is a perfect size to make the indention into our styrofoam. So you're gonna make your indention on both sides and then take your foam cutter and kind of clean it out so that it won't hinder the full three inches from being inserted into the styrofoam base. I always test it out before I add any hot glue. That way you can make any adjustments to the styrofoam or if you need to make an adjustment to the hoop itself, you can do that also. Once you are satisfied with the placement of your hoop into your styrofoam, simply remove it, add your hot glue, and then reinsert it into its opening. I want to show you the LED option, but before that, if you have any like little scrapes or anything as you were inserting your hula hoop, you can just simply touch up with a little bit of, of um, gold metallic paint. It's very simple. Now, I'm actually pressing my candles into the styrofoam to create an indention so that they can sit there while I place around them. And then going forward, I can just simply put a little, a little dab of hot glue in that little insertion and replace and place my candles back in their spots. So just a little quick tip, this is an option. You don't have to have the candles. The centerpiece is just as lovely with or without it. It's really your preference.
Now that we have finished the base, it's time to go ahead and hang our wisteria stems. This is a super simple step. I'm telling you right now, your 24 gauge floral wire is going to be your new best friend. So you're going to go ahead and string it through one of the top uh, leaves or, or branches on the top and go ahead and secure it around that branch. And then you just simply hang them to the length that you would like. Take your time, readjust them. Um, the wire is very forgiving. And really, if you're careful, you should not scrape any of your gold paint. So that should not be a worry. Well, Rosemary, how did we do? It is absolutely stunning. And can you believe we did it with a Dollar Tree hack? A Dollar Tree hula hoop. It always blows me in my mind when we do this. It looks like a brass hoop. It's absolutely gorgeous. So just know that you can use a 24 inch hoop or you can use a smaller one. This is really your preference. Um, I've seen people do these as at the altar and they've used the bigger hoops for that. And then they've used the smaller hoops for centerpieces on the table. So it's so versatile. Have fun with it. And I hope it met your vision. If you would like to, you can go ahead and drop us a comment or you can ask us a question. I answer all the questions. It, sometimes it does take me a little while to get to them, but guess what? We have a fantastic DIY community and we all help each other. I just love, love, love our community. So if I don't get to your question fast enough, I assure you one of our community, community members will. In addition to that, if you would like to follow us on our social media, by all means do that. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have not already signed up for your Rakuten rebate account, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's formerly known as Ebates and it is absolutely free. Go down to our description, click on the link, sign up for your account. When you're ready to shop, sign on to your account, find your vendor, make your qualified purchases, and receive a check at the end of the month for your shopping efforts. It's really that simple. Please don't miss out on this deal. To that, don't forget that all of the links to all supplies for our projects are always listed in the description right below the videos. Simply click on that show more button or for some of you it's a little upside down triangle. Click there and you will see all of the links to all supplies listed for you for your use. You don't have to search for it. In addition to that, don't forget to head on over to our website, MissPlanet.com, for more DIY inspiration, for written and picture instructions, as well as blog posts for cost savings and, and a resource library that is free. Just There's just so many things there. Go over there, check it out. You won't be disappointed. In addition to that, we just want to thank you for watching and supporting and subscribing and just interacting with us. It's just fantastic. I love it when you guys post your projects on our social media. I love, love, love to see them. So be sure to post those projects on our web, on our Facebook page and or our Instagram page. And don't forget to check out our Pinterest boards. They are fantastic. You don't want to miss them. So head on over there to connect with our social media and or with our website, MissPlanet.com. It was such a blast hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So with that being said, always remember when every penny counts, count on Miss Planet. Please take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. God bless.